Hi, I'm Michael Brown, Products and Sales Training Manager for Hyundai Material Handling. Today we're going to talk about our ADD-9. This is a 17,500 pound capacity truck. I find it really important though to compare it to our 70D-9 for starters. This is a 15,500 pound capacity unit. I want you to be able to really see the difference between the two units because most of our competitors will take their 15.5, extend the chassis eight or nine inches, add some counterweight, but they continue to utilize the same tire size, same ground clearance, as well as the same steer axle. As you can see here, we don't do that. This is a standalone chassis using much larger drive tires increasing the ground clearance, which is gonna really come into play when you're on rough yards in a concrete uh, area and things of that sort. Taller steer tires and a beefier steer axle, which is really not only gonna affect the capacity of the unit, but affects the durability in lumber applications and precast concrete. Let's get started. Continuing on with our ADD-9 series demo, as always, we're going to start with the mast, move through the operator's compartment, the service area, and finish up with the tail of our truck. That's how we get the most out of our demo. Again, we're going to provide you guys with walk around pocket guides that you can print. You can upload to your tablet, as well as keep on your phone so you have it with you at all times. Let's get started. Okay, starting with the mast, as you'll notice right away how thick our mast channels are, up to an inch and three quarters larger than competitive on the same size truck. Not only are the mast channels larger and thicker, we use an I-beam inner channel. That's much stronger than a C channel, allowing this truck to have better capacity at height. Notice our big thick cross members, again, helping to keep those channels in precise alignment throughout the life of the truck. The front end of our truck, we've got several different options for you so that you can get into different applications. Lumber, precast concrete, and several others. Lots of options for you on the front end. Notice our hose routing, great for technicians, easy access, but also great visibility for the operator as well. We use, on our hydraulic fittings, flat face O-ring seals. Flat here, flat there, O-ring in the middle. Two pieces of flat metal put together. I can't over tighten it. That's gonna really help us out preventing leaks because most of the other comp competitors, they use JIC flared fitting, metal on metal. What happens here is we try to minimize leaks by over tightening. We end up stripping the threads, actually creating the leak. So our system actually minimizes human error and reduces leaks. Moving to the lighting. Our high output standard halogen lights have both low and high beam settings. The axle, this is a uh, heavy duty durable axle. And again, on this 17.5 truck, we have much larger tires, better ground clearance, better travel, uh, oil disc brakes. The nice thing about this truck is we've got an independent oil cooler for the brake system. And our electronically controlled parking brake is mounted to the drive axle. So if you have a drive shaft issue, the operator can still stop the truck with the parking brake, whereas you can't do that if it's actually mounted to the transmission. Any questions on the front of the truck before I move to the operator's compartment? Moving through the operator's compartment. We have a fully sealed positive pressure cap, keeping the noise as well as dust out of the operator's compartment. Nice three-point entry, low step height, getting on and off the truck, very easy. First thing you're gonna notice when you get in a cab is our standard premium full suspension seat. Next is our tilt and telescoping steer column. 
fits any operator, keeping them ergonomic as well as productive. Seat side hydraulics, again, making it ease of operation for that operator. Great visibility through the mast and around the mast. Big mirrors on the side as well as a panoramic mirror. Great visibility through the cab overhead guard and I also have a sun shield. Very intuitive switches in the cab, making it easy for the operator to get to the air conditioner, heater, light switches, all these things, very easy access, as well as a Bluetooth um, stereo system. If this truck were equipped with a backup camera, which is an option, it would be viewed on the dash display. Several other items on the dash display, I just really wanna highlight the load weight indicator. That's a standard feature, comes in real handy for this truck. Are there any questions in the operator's compartment before I move to the service area? Moving to the service area. A couple things here. First, right here off the cab is our diagnostic ports, our fuse panels. This is where your technician would plug his laptop in, if need be. Under this step here is the batteries. And this truck's got a tilting cab. We release these. Open this up. Turn our lever to open. Beep the horn. Make sure nobody's over there and we tilt the cab. Okay, once the uh, cab is tilted over and we open up our gold wing hoods, we've got full cow to counterweight access. Our hydraulics, transmission, and engine, very easy to get to. Our competitors usually just have a gold wing hood and just a cutout under the floor plate. This allows us to access our pilot controlled hydraulic valves, which makes it easy on the operator, gives them a very precise operation. Our ZF electronically controlled transmission is three speed forward and three speed in reverse. And finally, our four cylinder 3.8 liter Cummins turbo, it's an industry leader. I can do my daily checks around the other side with the gold wing hood open I don't even need to tilt the cab for that. On this side of the truck, continuing on with our uh, serviceability, our daily checks, easy access to our air conditioner filter. Underneath this gold wing, we've got our daily checks, our engine oil dipstick, our diesel fluid, and our def tank, which has a lockable cover. Any questions on the serviceability part before we move to the tail of the truck? Okay, moving to the tail of the truck. One of the things I wanna point out is our rear view camera. Again, we talked about it inside the cab. It shows up on your dash display. That is an option. The other thing you wanna notice about the tail end of our truck is our automotive style lighting, brake lights, signal lights, reverse lights. The tunnels in the counterweight provide great airflow, keeping the truck cool, the engine, the transmission, the brakes, as well as the intercooler. Moving to the steer axle. As I mentioned before, this axle is larger, much more robust than our 70D, as well as our competitors' 17.5s. Larger tires, larger steer axle, fixed link tie rods, and easy access lube points. Moving around to the other side, again, you can see ease of access to our lube points, but we also have remote lube fittings that are gonna be able to uh, grease our axle pivot bushing. Again, that's very nice because if it's easy access, it'll get done. Any questions on the tail end of our truck? That wraps up our demo for the ADD-9. 
couple things I'd like to reemphasize. One, the standalone chassis. The larger tires, the more robust, durable steer axle, the higher ground clearance. On the mast, we've got larger channels and that I-beam interior channel, that's a big deal. In the cab, we've already talked about all the creature features, heat, air, all that standard, most ergonomic cab in the industry. Under the cab, ZF transmission, Cummins diesel engine, and finally, we've got High Mate available as an option on this truck, all backed by the industry's best warranty, three years, 4,000 hours. Thank you.